hoping I find out if I get this job or not. It went really well. Like I feel very, very good about it. And then back on a plane tomorrow and then driving to Mississippi Friday. Good morning, it's bright and early and I am heading to New York for a job interview and I'm gonna be looking at an apartment. A lot has happened in the last like week. This job process is quickly speeding up. I'm so excited and explain a lot more when I land. I am in the Enterprise van to go get my rental car. Me and no one else. What a nice little ride. It was a great flight. I love JetBlue. Very elite, not sponsored, but I had Wi-Fi, had free snacks, and it's me when I was gonna land. Loving it so far. It's a little chilly in New York, but we're one step closer to making it to this interview. Checking in because in like 20 minutes I have to be at the jewelry store and I don't actually know what I'm doing. I know we're going to a dinner tonight, but that's all I really know. I think he's just gonna show me like the ropes just around the store. I'm assuming I'll meet the whole team and then we'll go to a dinner. So that's like the whole third part of the interview and I'm hoping I find out if I get this job or not, but yeah, like 20 minutes until I have to be there. My hotel is like seven minutes up the block, so it's not too bad. Beautiful day, it was a nice drive in. Honestly, I was a little scared about driving here, but it wasn't as bad. I flew into LaGuardia and it really wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I mean, just a little traffic around the city, but made it here in about an hour, hour 15. So not terrible, I'm ready. It's kind of cold. So I had to like dig through my storage unit. This is actually my mom's. Thank God I was in Florida before this, but yeah, I ended up buying new pants, wore boots. I'll post a picture of my whole outfit and then um, borrowed my mom's like little blazer thing. Hopefully this goes well. I just like feel a, little, I feel a little nervous, but I know when I get there, it's all gonna subside. It's gonna be fine. It's just like that moment of like, hi, I'm Jenna, you know? So, all right, we are gonna head that way. And this man is just watching, <laughs> this man just walked by me. I'm gonna head that way and I'll let you guys know how it all turns out. Side note, as I'm driving in right now, just check out these mountains. This is just something I'm so not used to seeing, um, whether it be living in South Florida or in Murfreesboro with Jack, but this is pretty neat. I feel like this video isn't even doing it justice. I'm looking at it outside of this camera lens and it's just so stinking cute. And now everything is like super green cause it's not winter anymore. It looks a lot better than when Jack and I came just even a month ago. So that is exciting at this red light. All oh, right, here we go. Here we go. We're like two minutes away. It's 7.55 and the interview is done. I feel like when I last was talking on here, this is like the same angle cause I'm back at the hotel, but it went really well. Like I feel very, very good about it. I really enjoyed the people. It's, it's a smaller group, a smaller crowd, but they all have a lot of humor and they're just like fun people. I could tell they're close. Um, and I think that's what the big part of this like social part of the interview was. It was like the third part, like just going to dinner with them and just seeing like, can you fit in? And I felt good. I mean, I he didn't like offer or not offer. I guess like we'll figure that out tomorrow. But tomorrow I'm looking at an apartment that I'm really excited about. The inside is so perfect. It's all redone and it's stunning, like absolutely stunning just from what I could see on Zillow. And then I FaceTimed uh, the landlords with Jack and I can tell Jack knew that this was like my favorite part of like Jack knew that I loved this apartment and so I think he's all in and it's just, it, it it's really close to my new job. It meets all the needs on the inside. There's a gated outdoor spot so Oakley can run out, a gated yard. I'm just feeling hopeful, like I really want this to be it. I don't wanna keep applying to jobs. But yeah, this is uh, my update with the job interview. It basically how it started, I went in and just kind of sat around the jewelry store, you know, watched them talk to some customers. We talked about some of the social stuff that I wanted to implement and just what they are currently doing and what I would wanna add in. And then they packed up and we went to an Italian restaurant right next door. The food was so good and it was just, surrounded by good company. We had a blast and they say that they do this like monthly. So I, I think that's really sweet. And yeah, overall, overall feeling good. I am ready to go upstairs. And you know, when you've just been like talking all day and like obviously I was a news reporter, so I do, I am so used to talking, right? But I'm just like ready to lay down. I think it's also too, I've been up since four in the morning cause I curled my hair at Jack's this morning and then did my makeup in the hotel. and. 
you know how those travel days go and then back on a plane tomorrow and then driving to Mississippi Friday. So we have a long week, but all, all worth it, all good things. And I hope this turns out into a positive. So fingers crossed. All right, I hope you guys can hear me, but I'm at LaGuardia Airport. I'm using my AirPod as a speaker. I need to step up my recording game on getting like a microphone or something. So I apologize, please just stay with me because this is kind of the recap part of this whole trip. So yeah, I made it to the airport and I am very, very early because if you know, you know, Jack and I missed our flight like a month ago when we were last in New York and it cost us like $400 anyway, so definitely not making that mistake again but back to the interview the owner of the company texted me this morning saying he needs until saturday to make a decision it's thursday today so i guess in a couple days i will have the final answer but either way even if it doesn't work out i did get to see an apartment that i've been eyeing and jack knows just how much i love it it's in the cutest part of town uh, there's lots of little shops down there great for hiking let me show it to you the apartment and I am obsessed to say the least like I love it it's exactly what I want completely redone on the inside it looks so good it's so clean and just the landlords are the sweetest people like I, I feel like they would be like our friends later on I mean they're they're a little older than us but I mean just great people to know in the town and yeah, I'm excited. I think either way, if this job works out or not, I think we're still gonna do the apartment. So at least I did something. Something's been checked off our list. Um, I'm really, really excited. I'm feeling a lot more positive and happy about this move. And I think Jack loves the place just as much as I do. So yeah, all good things coming. I guess the last thing is just knowing if I get this job or not. Hoping I'll have some positive news to share, but you know, what's meant to be will be. And I'm firm believer in that so we're gonna stay positive and we're gonna keep keep hoping that I get this job. All right it's Friday morning and back in Murfreesboro Jack picked me up last night my plane got delayed finally made it back grateful to be home but just gonna pack my bags again and get ready for another trip which will mark the fifth state in one week because we're heading to Mississippi like I had mentioned for Jack's really good friend's wedding. So we're super excited. Like I said, I didn't have a lot of time to get a dress for this wedding. So what did I do? I resorted to Amazon. This bag contains five different dresses and I'm praying one of them will be the one. And if I get lucky and maybe two out of the five are great, then maybe I'll wear one to Clancy's wedding, which is coming up this summer. So yeah, let's see. I'm gonna try them all on. Let me know in the comments which one you think is the best. This video will probably be posted after the wedding, but if you guys like them, let me know because I definitely have Clancy's wedding that I'm trying to get a dress for. So I'm going to keep probably two of the five and then send the rest back. All right, I lied. I actually have six. This is one that I bought forever ago and I brought it to Florida and then I brought it back. That is my backup dress. And then these five, one, two, three, four. Yeah, these five right here are going to be the ones I actually want to wear. So hopefully some of these work out. Jack will be wearing a light purple dress shirt under his suit, but I don't think we're going to do the whole matching thing. I mean, I guess like the pinks would go or maybe even the blue, but honestly, I'm just going to pick whatever I look the best in and I'm probably going to pair all of these with nude heels. So I just wanted to show you them in the bag minus that one because I've already had it, but I will have that also linked in the Amazon storefront if you guys are wondering. I got these dresses all from like other influencer storefronts. So let's see what works. So I'm going to start showing all the dresses just for reference. I'm typically like a size eight and all of these dresses on Amazon, I ordered a medium. So same size, all of them, I'll link it. So the first number is this blue, like one shoulder kind of vibe, shorter dress. It's like right above my knee. The material's a little different than what I thought it was going to be. Um, it looked like, 
I don't even know what the material would be called, but it didn't look like this. This almost gives me like workout material vibes, but I don't know if I'm like loving this for a wedding because I feel like it's just a little short and not that short dresses are bad, but I think the invitation said like floor length dresses. So I have a couple other options, but I mean, it is cute. Like if you need a nice dress somewhere and then this bow comes separate and you just tie it on. So, yeah, I mean, it's really comfortable. I'm just, I did like a strapless bra with it. So, I mean, I would wear it somewhere. It's not a bad wedding dress or anything, or wedding guest dress. So, and then I'm just going to pair it because, again, all my shoes are in storage. So, I'm literally doing these nude shoes. These are from Target. <laughs> so, those are going to be going with all these outfits. Unless I feel like it's just really off, then I'll just run to DSW real quick and get a new one. But, dress number one. This is dress number two. This is the one I was really excited about. It's like a hot pink. Again, this is a medium. It has a cute little like tie here so you can bunch it up. The only thing I'm concerned about, I just never fill out these tops. Like, I think it looks a little baggy here. I don't know. I guess I could like keep playing with it and bring them. It's supposed to be like scrunched on your tummy, which I love. You know, you just feel, especially like when you're eating at a wedding, kind of like hides away whatever you consume. And then this one has a zipper on the side and the zipper kind of comes up high on my armpit area and the, which I don't love, but I mean, I could do it for a night. And then it has like another tie right here, which I think is cute and it has, it goes like that. So I didn't really notice that part in the uh, model photo, but I think it's really cute. This one's more floor length. I think it's stunning. I need a different, I'm wearing like shorts right now underneath this and I don't think it's gonna go right. I'm gonna need to go get some like Spanx cause you could totally see like the the line right here these are like literal shorts i wear to like burn boot camp you see them so definitely would have to fix that but i think it's like a classy little cutout i don't think it's like too much showing i like the part on the stomach i also like this is just so wrinkled right now i would need to um obviously like steam it and stuff all right this one is not a favorite i don't think it's like a good spring dress i was just trying to see what the color would be like in person but i think this would work better for like a fall wedding or like a winter wedding um i mean it's all right i just don't love like this i feel like as like a medium girl when i wear things that are just like a little baggy it just makes me look heavier <laughs> than i really am that might be like a personal insecurity or whatever, but it's just not my favorite favorite look. I don't mind like the, the little leg thing here, but even right here just looks a little like too tight for my liking. Um, and then like this just looks like a baggy little thing. And like if I were to take a picture, let's see, if I were to take a picture this way, I don't know, I'm looking at myself like through the mirror, like, through this camera right now, but I don't, I don't hate it. I don't love it. I, I think I could do better. And then if you're just curious about the dress, there's like a zipper on this side right here. Like a flappy thing. Like, this would annoy me if I'm dancing. I don't know. Not my favorite. Probably going to send back. But here is dress number three. This was my backup dress that I ended up bringing from Florida. Again, this is just another Amazon buy. But I had bought it forever ago for a different wedding. I didn't end up wearing it. So just got this just in case all the others didn't work out. But this is a very similar dress to the one I just tried on. But not as, like, big of a top. Like, I feel like this is way more fitted and looks a little more, like, dressy and chic. And then... You know, I love like the little like, uh, what are these called? I don't know, where it like hides your stomach. It just like scrunches right here. And the little split is cute. And obviously spring colors. I think this would be super fun. Um, but yeah, here's like the back of it. It's long. I think this goes more, it's not floor length per se, but ugh, please ignore Jack's pile of clothes that needs to be thrown away. So sorry for that. But yeah, I don't know. I just... I don't love it. Like, I mean, it's doable. I think, like, the top is cute. Again, if I were to take, like, a little selfie, I think this part's cute. I think I have a, st I have a thing right now. I, I haven't worn, like, a one off-the-shoulder dress in a while. So, or not an off-the-shoulder, like, a one-shoulder dress. So, I noticed, like, all my dresses I just got from Amazon in this haul. And even this one is similar style. So, if you're looking for an off-the-shoulder or one-shoulder dress, I guess this is the haul to look for. But yeah, I don't know. I'm not like loving it. I mean, it's not bad. It's a good backup. It's a good backup. Guys, I'm loving this one. And I think this is the perfect dress to do this fun hairstyle with. Like the little two little curly cues. I'd have to, oh my, this isn't even even right now. I just have to, I'll do a little snip snip. But not that my hair is long enough. Obviously, if I had a beautiful long ponytail, it'd be cute. I don't have extensions or anything. But 
How stunning is this dress? It doesn't even look like it's from Amazon. The high neck is so cute, so comfortable too. Like this dress, super thin, breathable. Our wedding's gonna be, well, the wedding we're going to is in Mississippi. So I know we're gonna be like sweating and you know having a blast on the dance floor. So I want something like movable, breathable. It has a little slit. Again, ignore my ignore my gym shorts. I need to do I do need to go and get some better spanks because you can kind of see the line. Like that's the line from my shorts, not this dress. And I wanted to flip the camera this way and show you what the back looks like. Can you see it with the, move my hair. Can you see the little tie right there? So stinking cute. I think it's really classy. Isn't showing too much. I love this part of the shoulder showing. Ah, I love the little hairstyle too. I mean, my hair is disgusting. I have to like obviously fix that. But I think this would be such a cute look. Ah, I think I, I think this is gonna be it. I really think this is gonna be it so comfortable and it has also this like little detail right here that i didn't think i was gonna love i saw it on the model and i didn't love it in the picture but i think it's stunning i think it looks very classy and they have this dress in like a million colors like all these dresses i'm trying on have a million colors so if you don't like this green which i probably ugh, they had this dress in orange and i should have picked it in orange because that'd be more springy but whatever i think this still would work for like a nice springy kind of dress you know okay this last one is really bad i don't feel comfortable showing like the whole thing but this is the top of it and it just gets worse as we go down i think this one's just really tight like the strap doesn't really move it's like cutting me off right here so i don't know i'll show the model picture and you can do what you please with it but if you get it i would say size up because it's like super not comfortable so but this is the top the top i feel like is like okay but <laughs> the bottom is not not cute so those are my dresses. I think I'm gonna go with the green for this wedding and maybe the pink for Clancy. So we shall see. My mom loves the, my mom equally loves the green and the pink. So that was her take. I need to text all these photos to Jack, see his take. And I will say when you're ordering these dresses off Amazon, they all come in very, very like, I don't know what's the, like wrinkly. You see like all the wrinkles on here, not the cutest. So make sure you have a steamer on hand, an iron on hand, something like that. So I guess I'll make a game time decision. I'm still going back and forth because I think pink, like the hot pink is a very nice fall color. But also when I think about it, the hot pink would be really good for summer, summer. So I don't know, decisions, decisions. But those are my Amazon dress hauls. Again, I wear a size eight. All those dresses that I tried on are in mediums. Uh, if you get this orange one size up and I will have all of these dresses linked in my Amazon storefront. You can find it in the description box below. Uh, I got all these from also like Amazon people. So let me know if it works for you. Comment below which one you think is the cutest. I always need a good dress in the closet. So yeah, thanks for hanging along during my wedding guest try on haul the ride to mississippi is just about to start but not before eating pub sub checks no mercy here buffalo chicken tenders i said i'm gonna start the vlog he said can i eat I said sure why not oh, i figured out how to get it in before we move to new york because they don't have Publix in new york what a crisis a true crisis i love these like long Onions, I couldn't think of the word, long onions. So good. Jack's scarfing it down because he's gonna do most of this drive. Six hours until we are in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. I just asked Jack if today at work, if he watched my vlog, what was the answer? I had a lot going on. I had to uh, put my lunch in the fridge and uh, use the bathroom and then uh, I had to write a lot of hall passes for kids and whatnot. It was just you don't really know he's a high school band director right now for like the last month of his career. Schedule was just stacked, so. Stacked. We're gonna get into it today. What a supportive fiance, not watching his fiance's vlogs. Uh, well, vlog uh, as in your new episode. He calls them episodes, I love it. It's like I'm his like, little movie star. Yeah. Am I your movie star? 100%. We are in hour three of this ride? Four? Where are we at? I don't even know. It's 5.33 and we're gonna be at his parents' house by like nine o'clock, so I'm a journalist at heart. I don't really, I'm bad at math, so there's that. But this week, I will officially 
Right now I'm in state four of five for this whole week. Once we hit Mississippi, it'll be five states, one week. For Jack, two states. No, three states, because of Alabama. One Old week. Tide. Roll Tide, he says. Go Gators. But we are ready for his friend's wedding. I think we voted on the green dress. Jack liked that one. I liked that one. My mom liked that one. So I think that's what we're going with. Jack has a little purple number. Purple dress shirt. I have a blue suit. Blue suit. Very light purple dress shirt. And... Ties, TBD. Yeah, he forgot his ties, so he will be borrowing his father's. And that's that. What have we been talking about on this car ride? Anything of substance? Um, Not really. No, I've been listening to... Yeah, we've been listening to a lot of music, but Jack and I don't listen to the same music, so I've been listening to a lot of his music, which consists of... Uh, country, southern rock, rock, a little bit of metal. Um, we listened to some rap at the very beginning, Big X, The Plug, and um, ASAP Rocky. I haven't really listened to any of my deep rap yet. The deep rap? Which is more mainstream. But Are we going to have deep rap at our wedding? I don't know. Maybe. Jack wants to do live music. That's like the one thing he cares about for this. I mean, aside from like marrying me, of course, right? Of course, yes. of course. Of course. Um, he just wants to be in charge of the band. I'm in charge of everything else, right? He is just going to show up and say, I do. I told him he had what, two jobs. Get the ring, show up to the wedding, say, I do. And now he's added getting the live band to his plate. But if you guys have done... Also, groomsmen game day photos. Oh, yeah. He wants to do groomsmen game day photos. I don't know if you've seen it. I'll put, I post a picture here. This is like a trend going on with like well, with photographers that I've seen. Um, a lot of the times they'll like photograph the groomsmen coming out like as... It's like getting ready for NFL game day, and of course Jack wants that. And I think that'll be fun. I think the groomsmen, your groomsmen, would get into it. Yeah. Right? You think they'd like play along? Yeah. Like they have to commit. If you're gonna do it, you have to commit to this. Some of them are gonna be awkward, but you know. But back to the band thing. Let me know in the comments if you guys have had live music at your weddings and/or have been to a wedding with live music, and what your thoughts are on it. Because every wedding I've been to, truthfully, has done DJ. I love live music, so I'm all in. And I know we want to do, like, at least strings or something like that for the actual, like, <clears throat> getting married part, like, when I walk down the aisle. I was actually thinking about, instead of the strings during the ceremony, we just get everyone to hum, here comes the bride, everyone in the audience. No. I don't like that. <laughs> everyone has to do it. No. Or we get kazoos. That, that's not happening. Oh. Kazoos. No. Why don't we just get recorders while we're at it? Maybe. A nightmare. People, no one will show up to our wedding. Maybe I want it to be beautiful. <laughs> so we're gonna have your like fourth graders come do that? No. Mm -hmm. I don't want any fourth. If you're fourth grade, you're uninvited. You're okay. uninvited. Immediate family kids only. But yeah, that's another thing. Did you guys allow kids at your wedding? And how did that go over if you did have kids? We're like in the early, early stages of wedding planning. Truthfully, Jack's probably not thinking of anything except for boot camp. He just got the email, dear future soldier, you will be leaving to boot camp in 30 days. Anxiety is what he felt. Mm -hmm. Still feel it. Still feel it. He's got this. You got it. All right, guys, this is where I'm going to end this vlog just because I think it's getting a little too long. Let me know. Do you guys prefer longer vlogs, shorter vlogs? Either way, I'm going to split this in two. So I'm going to post the other half, part two of this video this Friday. So you don't have to wait till next Wednesday. If you're new to my vlog, I am a Wednesday vlog poster. Um, and then the next vlog this, th this Friday, it's going to show you all the wedding stuff that the wedding we just went to all the stunning decor and a cute date afternoon. We stumbled upon driving back from Murfreesboro. So definitely stay tuned for that. And then a full vlog will be posted next Wednesday, but thank you guys all for the love and support. I will catch you guys next time. Bye.